I'm joined by Florence Kiplagat, the runner-up in today's London Marathon. So congratulations, Florence. How did you feel that went today? Today, it was, it was fantastic. The weather was okay, and the hospitality for the hotel was very nice. I've never been such a marathon like this one, you know. You can find the sweater castle, they are outside cheering the, the, the athletes. So, in London, is number one in the world. In all marathons I've gone, so I look forward to come back to London again. Definitely. And um, obviously, Florence, uh, you've had a lot of success in the last six months in um, Berlin, the end of last year, and beginning of this year, you broke the world marathon, half marathon record. How did your training differ for the, for the marathon compared to that half marathon? Well, when I just got the record, then I just switched up my mind to marathon again. Because it's, it's mentality only to change. You change from high speed to low speed and with the long and the endurance. So I was trying to cope up with the time because I had a, the time between the world record till London was not enough, so I eventually tried to fix it in any way possible so that I can be in London. So I had only like one month only training, so I'm very happy in position too. Since in London I've never been in podium, so I'm very happy with the results. Thank you. Definitely, and um, it was a very assured performance all the way through. You kept a steady pace up, and you and Edna broke away from Tiranesh around maybe halfway. What what was going through your mind at that point? Well, that question is interesting. You know, in many years ago, I know the Papa. I know the Papa when we were in Europe three years ago. And we are doing 10,000 a time. So I just missed, missed her like five seconds. So I know her. In the last spring, is very stable. Um, somebody who is deep within a marathon is run, just running to finish, nothing else. So you never understand what is in her mind. That you never know. I remember Bekele, Bekele in Paris was a deep in, and she, she won it. So in the case of the Papa, it was very easy for her to win again. So deep with is something unpredictable. You have to try to escape before she arrives. Definitely. And in terms of Tiranesh, what did you think of her debut today? How do you think she did, obviously, coming third on her first marathon? Yeah, for her, I'm saying maybe if she, in some years to come, if she needs to try a world record, definitely she will get it because she, she, she will learn through experience. And, and for her to cope up is very easy, you know, to, to rectify the, the, the mistake she did when the, the bottle of water fell down, then she tried to go and bring it back again. It's just the only one mistake she did. Instead of leaving that bottle and continue, to take, even to take only the plain water was easy for her. So to, go, to correct it is easy, but she, she needs a lot of experience. Maybe to try to see in, in the JK and that effect. Definitely. And obviously, Florence, today you were second, your first podium finish in London. Yeah. What do you think you've got to do differently to, to maybe win next year? What, how do you think you can improve? Well, maybe the only mistake I saw, I saw that, that was mine is the last day one mile. I tried to increase the base, but the fuel was finished, so next time I don't go for any time trial for anything. I need to concentrate, if it is London, I concentrate like four months fluently, and that one will definitely mean to me to win. Yeah. Absolutely. And just looking ahead for the next few months, Florence, what are your plans? Any races you're targeting? Absolutely no. I don't know right now because I still have pain in the marathon. So maybe Absolutely. like like one month, I will know where I might go. Yeah, take it easy for a month. Just let the body recover. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Well, well done today, Florence. Great performance finishing second and all the best for the upcoming months. Thank you very much.